Yo, it's Big Bass Dreams here. I'm Jeremy Pratt. Jay Pratt. Jay Pratt is the name. Definitely people have called me that throughout my life, but Oliver has gotten it going again. We're gonna make it stick. Oh, it's, it's the name, dude. Jay Pratt, Oliver Nye. We're Top of the morning to y'all. We're stoked. We just, we slept. Can we say where? North Dakota. First time I've been to that state. And we're on some random lake. One of 10,000 apparently, Yeah, right? I think 13,000 total, but you know, I don't know. But we're back in Minnesota, if you guys. Well, yeah, we're back. Out. We're definitely in Minnesota and we're excited. It's probably like 8.30 or nine and we're gonna hopefully get some bass, largemouth. Yep, yep. Are we gonna go after bluegill? Man, if we can find those elusive creatures. Yeah, the, the bluegill are gonna be the tough, uh, the bluegill are what I'm worried about. The, the <laughs> largemouth are gonna be fine, right? <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have some fun, enjoy this. We're gonna enjoy it. It's beautiful out. Finally got a little cooler here. All right, anything else to add? That's it, man. We're gonna go through the process of elimination. You guys have watched Jeremy's videos on his YouTube channel. I hope yeah, you have it. Subscribe to that channel. But he talks about keeping things real basic, real yep. fundamental, Look, fishing by instinct yep. and intuition, intuition. But all that is driven by experience. Yes. So we're gonna go on the opposite end of the spectrum here. We're exploring new lakes and we're gonna utilize these Garmin electronics to really become efficient identify some areas you want to target for the bass and hopefully the bluegill really eliminate a bunch of time and wasted exactly. casts. yeah wasted fan casting uh, because fan casting is an effective means of locating fish yep. determining how to fish spots on a lake structure cover but, we but when you have very little time windows <laughs> like we do yeah it's hard to beat the efficiency of electronics so uh, we're gonna do some side scanning i'm gonna look for rocks I'm gonna look for uh, grass beds and maybe some wood. If there's wood, I really don't know. I've never been yeah. on this lake. So, and obviously some fish. We're looking for bait fish activity, whether that's minners, whether that's sunfish, mm -hmm. which is a pretty predominant prey species up here in the Midwest, uh, or the bass themselves. So, mm -hmm. uh, buckle up. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. It's gonna be uh, a lot of fun to break down this new lake. And I have big ambitions. I'm, I'm always optimistic. I want some high fours today, maybe a five. And yeah, I mean, not to put pressure on I Oliver. just want to get bit. Yeah, <laughs> <It's like laughs> I know. Whatever. See, I'm always going you can for the- be on your own trip. I, I'm always swinging for the fences and Oliver's trying to be, you know, humble here, which- And we always aim high, dream big, yep. right? But at the same time, you gotta, you gotta start- keep your feet firmly planted <laughs> on the ground. For me, I'm just going for the biggest limit immediately. No, yeah, we gotta start with that first bite and, and that starts with being, you know, hard work here yep. with the electronics. So here we go. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you a real quick glimpse here. I've been side scanning and just marking some uh, humps and islands that I found here visually and have been remapping using the Garmin uh, software. But look, you can see how the grass is growing on this point here. It's a real defined edge. So I can go back and actually mark this grass edge with grass symbols. And then I can come back and spin the boat around, put the trolling motor down and have a target to cast that. Right, and it, because it extends all the way out on both sides because I'm side scanning, it'll now be represented here. See that? That's how we came across, and it showed this point coming out. So I know there's like a V formation of grass, and I've been side scanning this whole deal here. I'm gonna blow this up for you. And I've actually marked some rock piles, I've remapped this hump, and now I should. Sh now I know there's a saddle in between. I actually marked a couple schools of fish hanging off the brakes. So as we come back up on this target ahead of us, we know exactly where to cast. At least hopefully. That's the idea. Right? It's really that simple. So buy the best electronics that you can. In the meantime, utilize the old school fundamentals of fan casting and bottom contact and piecing a puzzle together in your head and building your own mental topographical map 
and side scan and down scan. You know what my OG down scan was? A jig. Yep. A crank bait. Yep. Any bottom contact bait, because I could determine how deep it was, I could determine the bottom composition, and as you get better in fishing and in hopefully life, you uh, leverage your way from nothing to these units. <laughs> All right, so you guys enjoyed that? Hit the like button. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm rigging up here. This is a half ounce Uotze swim jig. Got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader to my 50 pound braid. And I'm gonna use this as my first initial search bait. I could fish it slow if I need to, but I can also fish it at a pretty good clip. Okay, so that half ounce is gonna get paired with a four inch spark shad. And here's a little tip. Anytime you guys use soft plastics to some kind of jig head, I always use one drop of the Zappagap super glue. It really seems to bond our fishing plastics to the hooks and the lead beautifully. And what that's gonna do is keep that bait extra secure against that jig head. On top of that keeper system, that bait isn't going to slip off. And that does a couple things. It obviously saves the number of baits you go through in a day, but, but it, most importantly to me, it keeps you efficient. Because if you get short bit and a fish grabs it by the tail, it can't pull your pants down. <laughs> How you living over there, Jay Pratt? Good, bro. You alive? You still with us? I'm just trying not to disrupt your account. Yeah. Good job with that. Keep it. <laughs> so a simple trick like that will really increase your efficiency. As a fish comes up, you get short bit and nips at the bait. That bait is still in a perfect presentation. And it has the full potential to still get rebit. Hope you buy the bigger fish in the school. All right, so here we, we go. go. You know what you get with me? You get chaos, and it, does, and it adds entertainment All value. Chaos. And you get entertainment value. All the time. You're getting, they're getting content and entertainment at the same time. I mean, they're getting like info and entertainment. That's, a, that's our motto here. <laughs> Classic Minnesota bass. There we go. Oh, we got a double. <laughs> oh, yeah. You live, in, you live in a beautiful place, brother. Dude. I love it here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> How about them apples, boy? How about them apples? Oh, oh, dude. dude, it ate it, man. I love it. Yeah, that swim jig is gone. Yeah, this is fun, man. She gone. Oh gosh. We got on a school. Oh, man, they're so strong. Yo yo. That's a good start. <laughs> Starting the day. A delayed double, double. A little delayed double. Yeah, we can't take credit for all that. Yeah, I got a pari. Uh, That's a big high one. three. Yeah. Maybe. I just got a t chunky too. But look at these freaking stomachs, man. These are beautiful northern. Man, this is fish. such a beautiful day. The cooler weather. We're gonna let let them go. Yeah. Get these things back in the water. I'm loving life right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving life. All right. This game going in the water? No. No. Okay. Here we go. That was fun. <laughs> My man. Boom. Mine was pretty close to the boat, I feel like. It was a small 
Dude, I was getting bit um, the other day on another lake, just dropping it straight up and down mm -hmm. on him. Like that. <laughs> Let me get up. Dude, that's another quality fish. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dang, dude. Thanks, brother. Oh, good. Get safe. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is the life. This is the life, bro. Look at this fish. I mean, they are smoking this jig. That one was almost under the trolling motor. Yep. I'm telling you, bro, I can help I elevate your game in the space, man. You yeah, got it, bro. You got it. Don't waste it. Uh, Don't uh, waste it, man. I, well, I was thinking about that. I was like, I got that motor, and it's just to catch fish, but I need to, you know, switch it to both. Dude, you're yeah. a better angler than a lot of people I know. Yeah. They'll never know it. Yeah, I know, because I know. Yeah, people exactly. will never know it. Sponsors, potential sponsors, yeah. your brand partners you need will that never audience. know it. You need that audience. It's everything, bro. Leverage, yeah. At the same time, when someone tries to, you know, come at us as a group twisted, uh -huh. like, bro, look what's in the live well. Yeah. Look at our body of work. Yeah, exactly. You can't argue that. Exactly. We're ca we catch fish. Yeah, I know. Because the sad part is there's people in this space, fishing-wise, that dominate the big audience but uh, like bro but attention they, is not the same thing as respect right true. and confidence is not the same thing as arrogance yep people can come out here and film this video how to do this how to do that where the hell is the fish at the end of the yeah day? yeah no i see so, that all the time i'm like dude i get i don't watch fishing stuff because i'm like almost oh my gosh he's got almost all the time it's just like only instructional they catch Dude, are you? I'm gonna have to. Sleep. Where the fish at, boy? <laughs> dude, that's Oliver, what I want to know. Where the fish at? Oliver's smoking me right now, dude. I'm gonna have to keep fishing. Oh my gosh, dude. That mega bass <laughs> for the win. Where the fish at? <laughs> Somebody found him. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> are you just throwing a three pounder back? All right. This is big bass dreams. This ain't any bass dreams. <laughs> any bass. Dude, what the heck? I'm gonna have to borrow a jig, dude. I can't believe it. If I'm you guys gonna... appreciate good content with context behind it, man, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. We're trying to do things for all the right reasons and help elevate our community because the Big Bass Dreams community is our own community within the community uh, to continue to ascend and keep killing the game because y'all are killing the game, man. It's dope to go on a Big Bass Streams Instagram page and just see all the big smiles rocking big fish all over the world. So, shout out to all you guys. Shout out to all the OGs that have been with us since the beginning. Shout out to all the new guys to the channel. Ah, oh, shout out to Jay Pratt, sticking them on the coffee grinder. Sleeper. Oh, the dark sleepy. Get him, boy. Oh, it's <laughs> you get that thing in, the, it. in the boat so you get your beat back. I know, dude. I'm worried. The long, the longer we have you the net. With it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's net this because I'm gonna baby him. I'm gonna baby him. See, look, I'm putting slack in the line. I've done this before and it doesn't snap it. She swallowed it too. Oh so. yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. Thank okay. you. Ah, you get your bait back. Yep. You keep fishing. Waste your time with it. Snap. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, she, she swallowed that. Alright, she spit it out. Pike. Small pike green. Dude, I'm like, if you... The wind picked up, but I have to turn my magnetic <coughs> system back on. Nice to have good, good equipment. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like, like I said, bro, this is how you we leverage your way into it, all that stuff. Yeah, no, no, you it's feel me? No, I feel it. I'm, I'm not sweating to do. I've was, been there, bro. I know, I know what you're dealing with. I, I love fishing. Period. That just goes to show, like, how much more of an angler you are because of your deficit. <laughs> yeah, I'm using crap. No, I mean, no, I'm not. I just, as long as I can fish, I'm grateful. Man. That's all I care about. 
my equipment will go up eventually. Dude, I really, I guarantee you a deep crank would get really slammed right here. They, yeah, so I brought the crankbait rod out. Yeah. I brought some deep cranks with me. But I don't really want to do that if you're hammering them like this. Dude, I'm getting PO'd out of this. How's that make you feel, Jay Pratt? No, it ain't that big. I'm not worried. Oh. But that jig is killing it, though. Now it's not that big. <laughs> if it had been another, like, upper three or four, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Heck yes. It's a little trunk. Two and a half. Two. Good fish. Thanks. So let me, yeah, let me see this. So spark shad on the smaller profile. Yeah. And it's got... This. Like my jig? Falling yep. through, falling through, falling through. I saw a bigger blob in there. Picked it up, let it go. There's just all kinds of shit, stuff in there. I don't think that's a gill. That's... you got a tank. School is in session, son. <laughs> I'm just having fun, brother, that's all. Dude, do you have a tank or what? It's funny that I may feel as comfortable, if not more comfortable, with the ultralight spinning setup in my hand uh -huh. as the big swim beat rod. This is all over today, right here, boys. I'm having a ton of fun right now, hanging out with my boy Jay Pratt. Cool, you got her? Nope. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Well, how's that, Patreon? If you guys want to uh, get some more in-depth uh, insight into some of the stuff I'm doing out here, uh, click in the link below, or click the link in the description below. I've got a link to my Patreon account, and uh, gosh, look how easy that hook fell out, actually. Another nice, nice Minnesota bass. Finesse fishing. Man, love it. This is awesome. Yeah, she looks like an absolute tank. You, you gotta take pictures of these fish. Sucker. 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 that big bait go. That big bait. All about that. You a keyboard pirate, my man. That's how the lot track is. Kiss the bitch, you catch fish. Get him in the neck quick. Cast for another stick. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag hit. It's to make you catch fish, get him in the neck quick, cash for another step. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My Medium light, graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down on.